Hello everyone and welcome. This is Alex. I'm the architect for back for app and this is the episode 3 of our parse crash course. Today we will start to see queries in parse and how to retrieve objects based on its properties using queries. This is a little bit uh, top, a bit long topic, so we will split in multiple episodes. But uh, for start, what I see, I got our person class and I added a few backfrap employees here with their ages, living city, a set of skills, and I created a new property called distance from company, uh, which will be used for uh, filtering. Also, I added a new Alex. Uh, employee with the age 39 which is different from Alex with age 38 so we can differ between those two. I also have here my code from last uh, episode. We won't be using the query get which will retrieve the object based on object ID so we can remove that but we will keep the query object uh, querying on person. The first method I want to show you guys is the query dot equal to method. This will bring an object based on its a property and that has the exact value for that property. So I'm going to bring my property name and I will bring all my objects with the name Alex. As you can guess this will bring more than one object since we have two Alexes here. So I have to loop through the, um, through the results. So I can create a result, uh, which will be a result set. It will retrieve me a array of objects. Uh, so I can put equals await because this is a, a asynchronous method. And then query dot find. This will populate the result array with all the objects that it finds uh, specifying this property name with the Alex value. And then we can loop through objects inside that result uh, array. So for let i equals zero, e i smaller than result dot length I plus plus and I'm going to let this object equals results I and then I'm going to console dot log this object dot get which is how I read properties from from my object and name and I'm also printing the age. I'm going to save it and let's put a blank console log line so we can differ from objects. And if I go to my console and type node index.js, it will bring both Alex's. Also, we can use uh, different methods to, to uh, select exactly the properties that we want. So, for instance, I have two Alex objects in there, but let's say I want to bring only the one only the one with the age 39. So I can go back to my code and put query dot equal to age 39. If I save it and run it again, now it brought me only the object with the age 39. You can compose queries as much as you want. And we have different methods that you can use. We have equal to, not equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to. So, for instance, let's say I want to get all the employees 
from back for app, all the persons, uh, that the age is uh, not equal to 39. So query dot not equal to age 39. I go back to my console. I have all these employees with the age is not 49, 39, sorry. So, and also we can compose that. So for instance, I can get uh, all the employees which the age is not for 39 and get query dot uh, greater than or, or equal to and let's use that property distance from company so I'm getting everybody who's not 39 and let's say with the um, distance uh, bigger than 1000 so greater than or equal to distance from company 1000 And we have all these employees here. Uh, as I said, you can compose this as much as you want. For this, for instance, we can have that. And let's see which employees we have. We have Douglas here, so we can specify query dot uh, not equal to and name. Douglas, and if I run that, it removed Douglas from my result set. It was here and it's not anymore. And as I said before, we have all these methods here. So query dot equal to query dot not equal to query dot greater than query dot greater than or equal to query dot less than and query dot less than or equal to you can use as many as you want and uh, in the com combination that you want uh, you just have to remember it will bring you a array result set which you have to loop through in order to retrieve every result set so this was the very first part of queries. Uh, we'll, we'll prepare other videos because queries, queries go much further than that. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video and see you on the next lesson. Bye bye.